Welcome to this Sunday service. I see my buddy Steve. Uh, welcome. This is Music Mindfulness. I'm Kalani Das, your host. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. I do want to dedicate uh, this service, as I have in the past weeks, to... Um, especially to the folks uh, struggling right now in Ukraine and those affected, which includes all of us, uh, around the world. Let's keep them in our thoughts and actions. I've got a reading coming up again from the Radiant Sutras, translation by Lauren Roche. And today's uh, theme is falling into freedom. I'm going to talk a little bit about how music can help us. Music making and music. Um, fall into freedom. It has a lot to do with improvisation, but a lot to do with paying attention and listening. Awareness. Those of you who practice music know what I'm talking about. We're going to get back to a little bit of music making uh, before the middle break. But if you'd like, say hello in the comments. If you have any questions that relate to this topic, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. And if you have any helpful tips or advice or practices that you'd like to share, also put those in the comments. Thanks for being here.
right. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing well. I feel good. <laughs> oh, I had a good sleep. Isn't it nice when you have a good, solid sleep? <laughs> Speaking of falling into freedom. So today's reading is very short. Um, and um, again, I want to show you the Radiant Sutras by Lauren Roche. I know it's a little out of focus. Let me see if I can. Is it more focus here? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then we're going to have some more music in a minute. Um, let's go to the graphic for the reading and uh, enjoy this, my friends. Cherish the quiet sounds of your breathing as you fall asleep. With each exhalation, fall deeper into the center of your heart. Thus, fall into freedom as you dream. As a musician and improviser and fan of spontaneous uh, creation and creativity, uh, that idea of falling into freedom uh, really resonates with me. And it also, well, because in music, you, it's about taking, it's about tr faith and taking chances and trusting that you're going to land somewhere and then wherever you are, whatever you're doing, wherever you land, um, you can manage, you know, you'll be fine. You're going to be okay. And a lot of what we do in life is counterintuitive to that because as humans and pattern seeking creatures and logical thinkers and planners and rememberers of many things and Im imaginers of many things, that's not a word, but that we, we tend to seek structure and safety in knowingness. And I've talked a little bit about knowingness, but let me just reiterate that what I believe is that the more you think you know what something is, who someone is, the more you say, I know that, I've seen that, I've been there, done that, I know what that is. Basically, what you're doing at that moment is you're you discontinue your investigation and you discontinue your current relationship with something. You discontinue observation, unbiased observation, because you've become completely biased because you say, yeah, I know what that is. I don't need to look at it. And when we do that, we actually disconnect ourselves from the current moment because we're using a past experience to define the present. Does that make sense? So uh, falling into freedom and being mindful and being present is a lot about saying, I don't know. I don't know anything. What, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm experiencing now, right? So the more we try to structure, the more we try to plan. Look, I wrote in my book, uh, The Way of Music, the more you plan, the more that can go wrong, right? The more you plan, the more that can go wrong. Why? Because you've got, a, you've got an idea of how things should be. You know, you've got an idea of how things, how you want things to go. Now, I'm not saying that you should never have a plan, right? You guys know the difference between having a plan and being attached to a plan. Buddha said that one of the roots of, of all suffering is attachment to outcomes, right? And we know that also unmet expectations are a big part of uh, what we experience in life as non-fulfillment uh, or, you know, an unsettled way of being. Unmet expectations. Oh, this isn't supposed to be happening. I should have been over there doing what he's doing or what she's doing. I should have what he has, 
right? All of that thinking uh, is how we make ourselves crazy and, uh, and stay in this like perpetual state of uh, dissatisfaction. So don't do that to yourself. Stop doing that. What do you do instead? You fall into freedom. You fall into the, the world of possibilities. Here's something that you can try. And I've tried this and I recommend you try it. And this is a musical, it's a musical exercise, uh, but it's also an exercise in falling into possibilities. And that is take a sound. We could take, let's take the bass. Because I'm learning how to play bass, so I want to take something that's less familiar. Um, very simple. You guys can all try this. You don't even need a musical instrument. Just get anything that makes a sound, maybe a sustained sound. Play one note on it. And then follow that into silence. All the way in. Let's try that right now. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what that could mean. Okay. It cut off a little early because it has a thing called a noise gate on it. So it's not sitting over there ringing <laughs> the whole time. Okay, so that was a short version, but maybe you could find a gong or a bell or a pot or a pan and try that. Now what that does is it leads us from something. Our attention is on something. And as we follow it, it goes into not nothing. It goes into everything. Because now there's nothing there. It's, is it empty? I suppose you could look at it that way. But it actually, it's kind of like starting with a drawing and then going into no drawing. And what is, no, what is an empty canvas? It's everything. It's all possibilities. One of my favorite axioms or sayings, um, and I think it's attributed to, to Buddhist, a Buddhist saying, but I don't know, I'm not a scholar, is that the only useful cup is an empty cup, right? It's all about emptying the bowl, emptying your mind, empty, start over, <laughs> fall into freedom. So that's what it means to me. So that's one way you could practice musically falling into silence, following a sound into silence as a sort of meditation and a, and a way to say, okay, I might, I'm going to start with this and it's going to go into all possibilities. It's going to go into silence. That's why silence is so important. All music really comes out of silence. It's that empty cup. It's the full spectrum of possibilities. So as we're, as we're playing our way through life, how can we manifest that? How can we practice that idea? Because it's not about knowing. It's not about, oh, here's something clever in a book or here's some words. Yes, yes, yes. Let's make a meme and post it on our Facebook page. Okay, I'm done. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not about appearances. It has to be put into practice. It's an action. It's a doing. In this case, a doing to non-doing. Not doing anything. Not knowing. Not trying to make something happen. It's living and experiencing and playing with whatever's there. That's the heart of improvisation. So as you enjoy that feeling of your gentle breath as you're falling asleep. Know that you're falling into all possibilities. And dream, that poem talked about dreaming, and we know that in dreams, everything is possible, right? Not that we should live in a dream, but, you know, experiencing all sorts of ideas, creativity, and just trusting that you're, you're going to be okay. Um, there's a difference between uh, preparing for a journey, right? Prepare. There's a difference between preparing, which can include planning, and being unprepared, right? Preparing is one thing. 
and some of you are, or you know, your partner, you or your partner is the planner. Usually there's at least one in every couple <laughs> or group. Uh, and then there's those of us who feel like I'm ready. I just come on, let's go. Let's grab our pack by the door and head out because whatever I know I'm ready, you know, so there's a difference between planning and being pre or, or preparing and being prepared. If you feel like you're prepared all the time and you are because in every single situation in life, what are you going to do? You're going to do the best you can with what you have. <laughs> That's all you can do. Uh, the way we do better, of course, is to gain skills and gain knowledge, and knowledge and skills are wonderful. Techniques, knowledge, skills, possibilities, maybe we collect some instruments, it gives us options. So these are the tools, but that's different than just planning uh, and following a rigid path, right? And then getting upset when you're not on that path. Uh, very different things. So that's my uh, general message for you, sparked from a four-line poem uh, from the Radiant Sutras. If you are a fan of this kind of work, you'd like to get a little bit more, of course, you can go to uh, iTunes or KalaniDas.com, listen to the Evolve podcast series over there. There's over 20 episodes. If you'd like to connect with me more, you can do that at Patreon.com slash Kalani, and we can message and uh, respond to all the patrons and all the requests. Uh, and if you're interested in the music, you know, I've got a few YouTube channels, World Drum Club, this one, uh, the ukulele channel and Kalani Music, where you can learn about these uh, instruments, the Native American style flutes. All right, my friends, it's time for some music and uh, let's fall into silence before we fall into some more music. Uh, if you're interested in the um, knowing more about the instruments that I'm using here, uh, you can, uh, if you join us at Patreon, yes, there is a little paywall there, as there should be, for information. I always do a breakdown video every week. I review all the instruments that I'm using in uh, the music mindfulness sessions, and I go through everything. I talk about every instrument. I tell you where to get it, who made it, what it is, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I often talk about the music I'm making, you know, what chords is I playing, how did I do this and that. So um, you can see all of those breakdown videos over at the patreon.com slash Kalani, if you're interested in that. And if you're not, that's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Let's, let's make some music, and um, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week for Music Mindfulness. The looper is cleared out, and uh, we'll see what happens here.
for tuning in uh, this week. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for all the messages, everybody, in the comments. Share this uh, if you like. Share it with somebody who you think could benefit. Or save it for yourself. (laughs) All right. Have a great uh, week. I'll post the next uh, live stream uh, as soon as this is over. Schedule the next one with the theme. Share it if you like. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for being here.